Today I'm going to learn right in front of you how to do heat inserts for plastic parts for PETG. <clears throat> so I'm doing this because I've printed out this replacement part for my Lulzbot mini printer and it has four holes the part, the plastic part, has four holes in the back, the bottom, uh, that screw into the uh, frame of the Mini. And in each of those holes I need to put in uh, what's called a heat insert. It's a threaded part. I'll put in a picture of this. It's a threaded part that um, you melt into the plastic and then it forms a nice strong bond with the plastic so you can screw in the screws and everything's great. Okay, so before I heat up the soldering iron, I'm going to replace the tip with a tip that's designed for doing heat inserts. So I just unscrew the cover here, take off the soldering iron tip, and replace it with this tip, being kind of careful not to damage the ceramics. And then I put the cover back on. There we go. And now I can heat up the soldering iron. You can, a lot of people do this with just soldering irons, but uh, I'm going to do this with uh, a tip that I bought designed for three millimeter heat inserts. So the idea is that I pick up one of these heat inserts, I make sure it's right side up because they're tapered, and I stick it onto the soldering iron. And then uh, when it's hot, and I really don't know how long it takes to get hot. Why? Um, I'll jam it into the, I'll press it lightly into the plastic. I want to hold this. Ooh, I want to hold the thing in with the, with the oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. <clears throat> and this time, what I'm going to do is just press it into the wood here while it's heating. The wood is uh, not going to burn. It's just 446 Fahrenheit is below, well, it's, yeah, it's below the burning point of paper at least, so the, I might do a little wood burning here <laughs> with this, but, you know, <clears throat> did I get that right side up? I ought to check that. Uh, no, I had that upside down, so that would have been bad. Uh, okay, you can see there's, you probably can't see what right side up and upside down looks like, but there it is, right side up. So I'm, I'm going to just pick this whole thing up and put it into this block. Let me get my old soldering tip out of the way. And I bet it's heated up by now, so here we go. Ah, that is really cold, but it is going in. Yeah. Huh. Okay, since that first heat insert went in really, really slowly uh, at 230 degrees C, I've raised the temperature on my soldering iron up to 464 Fahrenheit, uh, which should be around 240 degrees C, which is the uh, suggested uh, low-end extrusion temperature for this PETG from Matter Hackers. So my iron is all heated up, so let's try this again. I've got the heat insert right side up. I'm going to put the soldering iron right down on it. Now, I assume that the <clears throat> I assume that the part was heated up already, that it was fully heated up rather than it just being cold because this is brass and it ought to heat up pretty quickly so let's try again here here we go oh it's going in about the same hmm. but it's going in square and straight which is good and it's going in slowly so it gives me some time to worry about it coming out right so as I look at it here it looks really good and I've got a, it's a three millimeter insert, uh, that's the inside diameter, it's a three millimeter, or the thread really, and I've got a three millimeter screw here, so let's just see 
Yeah. Oh yeah, that screws in nicely. And I can tug at it a little bit and nothing happens. So I, I'd call that a success. Let me try one more before I go on to the real thing. So heating up to 464 or uh, 240 degrees uh, Celsius uh, didn't seem to make a whole lot of difference in how quickly the part went in. Um, I'm kind of liking that it goes in slowly. Uh, slowly enough for me to kind of uh, make sure it's all straight. So I'm going to try one more before I go on to the real thing. So I'll grab one of these heat inserts with the tweezers and make sure it's right side up. And then I'm going to go sit on this for, let me, let me give it a minute to see that it actually heats up. So to recap, I've done two of these heat inserts and they've both gone really well. So I think this is kind of foolproof. Uh, maybe I'll prove myself wrong once I get to the part. But um, let's see, that's 20 seconds. Uh, so I should mention I bought these things on Amazon, these uh, uh, heat insert tips for soldering irons. Uh, it came in a pair of a 3 millimeter and a 5 millimeter. Uh, so you can put bigger heat inserts in there. And that's a half minute. I'm going to call that good. So let's get set here. Grab the nut with the tweezers, move it into position here, and oh yeah, it's sliding in really well. I'm keeping it upright, and we're done, I think. A little, a little high, so I'll heat it up again, push it down a little bit more, yeah, and there it goes, okay, and again, screws in just great. So I think we're ready for the big time. Now that I've done three practice inserts that worked really great on my little practice block, I'm going to go for the real thing. There are these four holes here in this Lulzbot part. So I've got my soldering iron heated up. And away we'll go. Is that right side up? Whoa! They are small. Okay, let's do that. Yep, that's right side up. Good. So I can let that heat for a moment. And then I should be able to uh, drop it in place here. Okay, let's try again. Get it right side up. Get it in there. Get in there. Okay. Heat it up. Maybe this is warning me that I'm not ready to do the uh, real part yet, but I think I am. So yeah, let's, let's, that seemed to work really well. That heating it up on the board here. This is just a piece of, uh, well, it looks like fur wood. Okay, let's try it. Oh, okay. So I'm holding down the part and pushing a little bit. Soldering iron, keeping it straight up. Now let's see how that worked. Oh yeah, that's good. It's a little deep. I probably went a little deeper than I should have, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, so let's get another one. Heat that up. So I think I'm on the way now. I'll make sure that's right side up. Mm, yeah. If I didn't wear glasses, I would be wearing safety glasses at this point to keep these little hot bits of metal from flying in my eyes. Okay, number two. There it goes. Pushing in and keeping the soldering iron upright. And I think that's good. No, ow! <clears throat> okay, don't do that. I 
wanted to check that it was in flush and I forgot that it's really hot <laughs> okay so that's two that look really good yeah that's a little deep um, here we go with number three uh -huh. on we go heating that puppy up yeah um, shouldn't have touched hot metal with my fingers Uh, safety is always important. Okay, I'm pressing that in a little bit, keeping it upright. It's going in. It looks like it's in. Now I'm going to check it visually, and it's a little high and a little off center. So, okay, that's in. One more, and then I've got my part ready to uh, insert into the lull spot. Woohoo! Okay, right side up, right side up, yep. Stick it on there. So this is actually pretty easy. I mean, it, uh, you know, doing the f those first three inserts uh, worked like a charm. So uh, I'd say you can do your own heat inserts really easily. Oh, my finger hurts. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Did I check that that's right side up? Oh dear. I think I did. It's going in, which is a good sign. Let me check the a little high. And leave it in a little bit longer. And still a little bit high. Okay. Okay. That looks good. Okay, we're done. Woohoo! So now my uh, my lulz butt part with hot inserts in it is uh, ready to screw into the printer. <laughs>